Hello, hello. Still did not order anymore. <laughs> Hi, Patty. Hi, Joe. Come on in and let me know where you're from. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Stacy. How's everybody doing? It wasn't too, it's only like 82 here today, 83. Everybody make sure you sprinkle the love, please. Hi, Pam. Hi, Diana. Everybody else is going live, not me. There we go. Get the right live going on. Why do I have a Facebook user? We never. Do they have to click that StreamYard? There should be a StreamYard link at the top for me to be able to see Facebook people. No, it's not set up that way. Oh, it's not set up that way. I don't know what it is then. So, hi Melissa and Janet, and Francine. Thank you, Patty. Hi, Mary. Everybody sprinkle the glitter. Come on, get out of my way. What's everybody doing tonight? Hey, Dan. <laughs> get up to fifty, and we will do. Glitter now. Hey, Richard. Oh, this thing's being funky. So lots of my friends have got up to their milestones. Hey, Jamie. I'm trying hard. There it is. And Richard, I forgot. Oh. This week has been nuts. So let's see. Let's look at the calendar here. So it is that um, all male marathon, mini marathon that uh, Angela and I are doing is the July 27th. It's on a Wednesday. Midge, hi. Thank you for donating to my Alzheimer's. So, um, I am part of Art and Grace's Alzheimer's Awareness Marathon. Um, so, the, my logo is Marathon, or uh, ALS, and not ALS, Alzheimer's. Um, my dad did have it in past last year. Um, so, I'm doing some fundraising for that. Um, it's on my page if you would be so kind if you'd like to donate. If you can't, I completely understand. Here's our sign, hot off the press, little cartoon cow. Hey, Debbie, you're on time tonight, Janie. Welcome. I'm glad you all are here. So we're going to do a full-size wreath. We're going to do a woodland ruffle. Thank you. I still don't know who the Facebook user is. I'm sorry. Hi, Pat. So what we're going to do it's 19 so inches cut. And we're going to do a woodland ruffle. I've done most of them, but we'll finish them up. Go ahead and switch my camera down, honey. I just got some bad news. My son was, or my son, my grandson was in a baseball game and got hit by a ball going, how fast? 71 miles an hour. 
So he's at the ER. Yeah, it's July, what did I say, 27th? It's posted on, um, if you haven't joined the Coast to Coast Makers um, group, it's Angela and I's group. We will post things um, that her and I are doing together, marathons. Oh, well, hi, Michelle. Yeah, it just says Facebook user doesn't have your picture or nothing. That's weird. You've been in my lives before. Girl, you're just having all kinds of trouble tonight. Facebook is wonky, that is for sure. So I was off today, but I felt like I got nothing done. I kept telling Floyd all day long that I didn't get anything done. Well, I'll know who it is now. <laughs> Two of the grandkids came over this morning. My mom took the third one to the dentist. Hey, Ellen Wellen, how are you doing, girl? Thank you, Francine. We're hoping it's only a broke nose. That would be a good thing, but his eyes all swollen shut. She literally just called me. So if we get a a text or in or a Facebook message, she's gonna let us know how she's doing. These kids, I tell you. You had a helmet on, but you didn't have one of those face shields. Thank you, Pam. Um, he's 14. Yep, he's my oldest grandson. So I'm using black ties just because I had it made and I got tired of moving it every time I wanted to get a reframe down. So we're just going to lose it. Oh. There's a link on my page, Debbie. If you have problems, just let me know. Hungarian peasant dish. You mean pheasant? What are you doing? Going to school to be culinary chef? Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, he lives, oh, it's not too far. It's about a half an hour north. So I had this already made, so we're just going to go ahead and use it. So I got a Poly Jute Country Blue. I la actually like this one. And here's a Poly Jute Yellow. This is the only yellow that I like. The golden one is okay for certain projects, but I truly just like the yellow. Hey, Linda. Oh, you're sitting down now? Yeah, she couldn't see it earlier. So it's not the real cow thing. But it's a little cartoon Highland cow. I thought it was cute. So that's what we're using tonight. One of the girls I work with brought me a taste. And now, oh yeah, now you're hooked, right? Or is it handballs is what that one girl used to bring you at work. Yep. For some reason, I don't like them. You know you... <laughs> I have a couple others that have cows on them, too. There's the cartoon look. I like that for some reason. But we're just going to alternate our colors like I normally do. So, listen. So, everybody put their price of gas in what state they're from. I want to know what all your gases cost. Ours is five oh nine, but it dropped to four ninety nine here in town. So let's see them awful gas prices. Not to depress you, you know. Four forty nine in Arkansas. Four forty nine no, he called out for us back up. Remember, That's I ran. That's what I thought. I yeah. To make sure I went downstairs. Okay. Five oh nine, Ross County, Ohio. You're not too far. Let's see. I forget where Ross is. Five oh nine. 
509. I think the whole state of Ohio is at 509. Well, ours dropped to 499. 449. Woo, Rachel. I am in Tuscarawas County, Ohio. For, for North Carolina? Wow. Let's see, West Virginia. I always joke because we have a lot of Amish here. Oh, what is it? But what is it? I think it's like nine dollars or something in California. I was just gonna say that, Patty. <laughs> We're gonna go to back to horse and buggy or riding your bike. It's a little far for me to ride my bike. Floyd could. He's only about five miles. Four ninety-five in Florida. Michelle's at four thirty-nine in San Antonio. I don't like how that one looks. Listen, I don't think I want to ride horses no more. I used to get fucked off of one. Six fifty nine in Southern California. Ouch. Oh, Pam's there par for the average. Know what it is about California. I mean, they got to be the oddball of everything. I didn't hear about a tornado. We don't have TV. I just canceled it. We never watched it. Um, but my phone didn't go off for any tornado warnings or anything. So must have not been close enough. You're going to get a cart for your goats. <laughs> they have several gas. But it's not just gas, Richard. So, okay. So, if you didn't know. Ooh, Patty. Yuck. Um, I hope it didn't blow up nothing. Um, I work for Walmart, if you didn't know that. In everything, every policy that you look up, there's a few states that you have to click on their state to see what other guidelines they have. And California has an exception to everything course they have all those emission things oh wow Francine I didn't even if it rained here I didn't know it ah Julie which way is it going <laughs> I know my mom will call me and say hey we just had a really bad storm it's coming your way because <laughs> she lives in Illinois oh okay yeah, because I'm, I'm spending like $100 a week to go to work. And I'm like, geez, I work one day just to go to get for gas. Ridiculous. Oh, okay, good. Hey, Pat. Holy Nova. <laughs> My grandpa drove a Nova. It was, I don't even know what year it was. It was old. But he got to take his picture with can, cans of oil. The Quaker State, you know, when they come in a can, you had to pop them open with a can opener. Um, because his little Nova had over 200,000 miles on it. 685, yuck. You're in the center of... North Carolina. See, that's what Floyd said. He wants to move down that way to one of the Carolinas, but he wants to live inland. I won't leave my grandkids. I wish I didn't have to go out. We only go out, go to the store, go to a craft store, go to your dad's. Like, go, other than going to work, we don't... I go to work every day. I said, other than going to work. Wow. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Pam says that was for the $9 gas in Nova Scotia. Everything's for 
really is more expensive than candy. Yeah. I still have it been though. I'll go sometime. I do order a lot of stuff online, but like there's some stuff that I just if you have to go to a craft show or a craft store. Of course I haven't been I haven't been to Hobby Lobby since Last this winter. Sometime. I know one thing we're not going to buy online anymore. We're not going to buy groceries from Walmart and have it delivered anymore. No. So I can't speak for all Walmarts. Hi, Angela. Well, it was just the one driver, but still. Woo. Our bet the bag smelled like smoke. And we lived two miles from the Walmart. So that's how long they were in the car. Hey, Donna. Angela, how much is gas where you live? Angela, how much is your gas? Why what? If she's asking why we won't use the Walmart grocery store. Oh, anymore. so um, first time we ever ordered it from the store here in town. Notifications, and it said delayed. Now, oh, 6.30, wow. Um, I had bought some stuff in there. For supper now delivery time was between five and six so it's my fault you know but we were gonna eat, we eat late sometimes anyway um and six o'clock came around or about ten till six i got a yeah um well you're not the people that deliver are not supposed to smoke have kids with them nothing like that um i'll let you quit smoking linda did you relapse? Yeah. So, well, you you have the the right to re, to refuse any substitutions, and now Walmart is going back to you get to pick your substitution if they have it. So, um, because they'll it'll send you a text that they want to try to substitute something, and you either have to accept it or reject it. So there is that. Um, but. I, Okay, so at 10 till, 7, 10 till 6, we get a delayed. At 6 o'clock, your driver is there unloading. We go out on the porch. It's downpouring. And no driver. Hey, Sam, how are you doing? So we're like, okay. He pulls in the driveway a couple minutes later. Well, no, he got there at 620. And Floyd goes out to the... Um, Fair enough, Linda. No, I look, listen, Linda. <laughs> I smoked for They started at age thirteen. Almost thirty five years. No longer than that. He quit once when we was going through a custody battle with um his ex wife and I threw a pack of cigarettes at him one day. Now, I don't smoke, but I still vape. I don't foresee giving that up anytime soon. Yeah. But I mean, it's a, it's a real low nicotine amount. But yeah. It's... He has quit like to nothing a couple times. The first time, I don't buy, I've never bought his cigarettes. Hey, precious. But that one time I went to the grocery or the gas station, bought him a pack of cigarettes and threw them at him because he was a bear. And it was already aggravating for going through a custody battle, but. Life happens. Life happens. I've never smoked. I think I hated it so much because my mom and dad smoked in the house. No, I totally get it, Linda. I really do. But even when he did smoke, he didn't smoke in the house. He smoked on the porch. Well, when it was really, really super cold, I let him go into the basement. So then I still smelled it because it just went up. No, Jamie, smoking oh, no. would not be a good would not be good for you. No, 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 no. Sorry to hear that. Quitting for good in August. Well, I hope you do. Just don't put too much pressure on yourself, Linda. It always backfires. Yeah. Campix is on recall. 
I did not know that. Everything's on recall. I'll tell you what. I was really surprised when we went to Crafters Convention <laughs> and seen how many of the big name uh -oh. crafters smoked. Oh, I was I was shocked to be honest with you. Hey, it's just I can't stand it. I can't my dad smoked cigars and he smoked a pipe and ugh. Cannot stand it. Even the generics being recalled? Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't sound like it's probably going to come back out on the market ever. That means they found some side effects that they didn't know. Probably. Before. That's why I don't like to take new medicine. Then these poor babies with no formula. Let's not talk about that again. Makes me mad. I love blue and yellow together. You know, my grandpa did when my grandma had her heart attack. You know, of course she she quit cold turkey, um, so he did too. My mom still smokes. My dad quit cold turkey too. Ready? I wasn't sure if I needed the end pieces, but I do. Yeah. Looks like green and yellow on TV. It's blue. It's like a country blue. Bread shortage. What? I better buy, start buying some yeast. Of course, we don't eat a ton of bread. We could just make some chapels. I seen a thing on, I seen a thing on YouTube the other day about making like a, like what you were talking, something big enough to use for like a piece of crust. Mm -hmm. Put it in the oven at 350 for like 15 minutes on well, yeah. Oh, that one's long. Oh, it would be gamey. It would be. Oh, he said no. The yellow is greenish. Oh. No, it's it's just a true yellow. TVs are wonky. I know. Even when I go look at his computer screen versus what I see, it can be a, a shade off. Everything on my computer monitor is really really dark. Compared to the TV that she looked at. But it's yellow. Absolutely, Jamie. Come break out that, that bread machine. I think I still have one. I'll, I'll bet you don't have all the cool pieces parts. Oh, no. I think it's inside of it. But yeah. like I said, we, we eat chaffles, which is just egg and cheese, and you put it in a waffle maker. Start making bigger ones. Yep. I don't know how long we make mini ones to like make a sandwich. So here's our nice and poofy. Those of you who joined in, here's our sign. I used to use it and make like pepperoni bread and cinnamon bread. I just don't have the time. And silly me, <clears throat> I will be live Saturday, Sunday, twice Monday, on twice on Sunday, once for the private group. Um, I'll be live here on my page, but we'll be sharing into the Alzheimer's group. Oh, dear. So here's two of our ribbons. Just a, a country, like a moss green check i just throw everything in turn on but i think you're supposed to do it in layers or something i don't know I've never use the bread machine yeah you're supposed to put certain things in first based on your on your uh maker but like i said we really don't especially now my son's out of the house we really don't go through a lot of bread floyd does take a sandwich for lunch oh yuck richard So here's the other two, a country blue with a sunflower and a natural one and a half. What's pshaw? <laughs> 
So if you don't have nothing to do this weekend, I will be live. I'm going to do the math, Richard, and see. Cause I, I quit smoking while well, I still vape, though. You still vape? Had to kill me you quit, like, nicotine vape there for a while. Just had the... He likes all these berry, cherry, flavors. blueberry flavors, crap. <laughs> Even the guys at work that don't smoke. Oh, boy, what are you vaping today? That smells really good. <laughs> Tutti fruity. Oh, family comes first. Oh, Debbie. that's okay, Debbie. There's always a replay too. If you guys ever watch me on replay, let me know that you're there. Put the hashtag replay. So by my calculations, I smoked for approximately 38 years before I quit smoking and started vaping. At the beach. Ah. Oh. Like she goes to the beach every year. You gonna bring me back another picture? Bring me back a picture? Hell, I want to go. No, she put, she did that. Never all well, the I know. kids. I want to go to the beach. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I just had a coworker that was. He got. Um, uh, yes, Debbie. I still vape. Awesome, Stacy. Uh, he got pneumonia. He's been out for months. And then he got diagnosed with COPD. He's on oxygen. So he went from working in groceries. So now he's up at the door. Any time is a good time to quit. I just noticed I didn't put my apron on. Oh, well. Linda wants to know who. Um, I can't tell you that on here. Oh, some people just can't give it up. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here chuckling, Jamie. Not because you're not because of your dad, but the situation. My ex-wife did the same thing. She had COPD, was on oxygen, and the girls called me one day complaining that their mom was sitting there smoking with her oxygen tube on. My ex-mother-in-law did that too. I think my grandmother oh, did that yeah. for a while too. Then she just quit the oxygen. Yes, Patty, they do look really good together. Thank you, Patty. On something more cheerful. Yeah. So give me hearts if you're going on vacation this year and give me likes if you're st or thumbs up if you're staying home. Who's staying home and who's going on vacay? I want to see hearts if you're going on vacay. I always wondered how how that would work if you were sitting there had your oxygen on while you're trying to light a cigarette. Smoking a cigarette's not going to be enough to cause the oxygen to ignite. Thank you, Precious. But, I got all kinds uh, of parts. But yeah. Oh, dear, Debbie, I'm using, sorry. Using a lighter to light your cigarette while you're oxygen on, that is not a good thing to do. So I'm, we're kind of going on vacation. It's a workcation. <laughs> it's not a vacation. You canceled my vacation. So salty. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I think she took hers off, but she, it was running on her lap or something. You know, the one thing I hate about the mesh is I get so many hangnails. Oh my gosh. 
We won't tell you how my eyebrows got so Jeanette flamed her eyebrows off one time, too. So I had, um, I wanted to shred. I had a little shredder, you know, from Walmart. And I was going to shred something one morning. I hadn't used it for a while. So it wasn't running right. So I was doing the forward, reverse, forward, reverse. And um, it was a little dusty. So I thought, oh, I don't know what's wrong with it. So I got some. Uh... No. <laughs> In, my opinion, in, email me, Jamie, and I'll. In my opinion, unless you're already a member of his coaching group, just the SEO list, I don't think it. That's my personal opinion. If you send me a message on Facebook, and I'll talk to you, give you some hints hints about it. So anyway, back to the story. So what Jeanette did was she rocked that switch forward and backwards enough that the that the blade. No, I used compressed air. Would you okay. let me finish the story? Sorry. She got the motor hot, and when she sprayed the compressed air in, if anybody has ever sprayed compressed air it upside a, down, it had a penny in it too. Flammable liquid comes up. So what we think happened was. She sprayed, got some liquid sprayed down on that hot motor, just hot enough to ignite it, and poof! A little bit of hair right here. It flashed up in her face. My poor son was, I don't know, he was young. He was like probably under 10. He threw the paper shutter out in the backyard and dismantled it with a baseball bat. Yep. <laughs> There was also a penny stuck in it, is why nothing will go in. Of course, truck run right along. Then Jeanette almost hurt me because once I realized that she wasn't seriously hurt, I couldn't stop laughing at her. No, he couldn't. He was laughing at me. I made sure you weren't hurt. Rude. I'm just missing your eyebrows. That's all. I, w I was missing like a little bit of hair right here on my sideburns, and then my eyebrows. I went to work, and they're like, "What's wrong?" Probably, probably a good thing she wears glasses though. Now, I didn't then. You sure? Yeah, I didn't wear glasses then. Oh, well, then you're lucky. Jamie said she would have been laughing at you too. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I mean, of course, my first concern was that she didn't get seriously hurt. Well, and uh, my eyes were like well, yeah. sore. So we were flushing. That happens when you open the oven and yeah. heat rushes out. Oh, Linda, I know you were laughed. <laughs> so always dousing water in my eyes. You melted your hair? And... And, and a gas. gas bathroom heater? Oh, my god. Oh, you. Did you have really long hair or something? Or was it we, a heater we use, a, we use electric bathroom heater. That's safe. Yeah. I remember that, Linda, when you're in the store. I'll have to detain you. <laughs> Ma'am, we're going to have to check your receipt. Checker bags. Make sure you call me so I can drive down. And... <laughs> Witness. So this has got all the colors we need. Oh, she was standing too close to hit her. Her hair was past her rear. Oh, wow. I cut 10 inches off my hair once. Not long after we got together. Because once it gets so long, it's not as thick as it used to be, but it gives me headaches. All right, so it is. I'm giving the word of the day. Eight thirty. We're gonna put the word of the day across. About the time. Bottom. 
I got the stink eye. So remember, I'm only putting three of these on here because I don't want to have to worry about hiding this. 18. I don't even have 18 inches of hair on my whole head. I used to wear it really long, but... I let Jeanette pick the word of the day. Should be moo. <laughs> Every time I pick the word of the day, I get the... Why'd you pick that for? Yeah, why'd you pick that? <laughs> you should have picked this instead. Why? I'll let it get to the middle of my back, but that's as long as... But I'm liking it kind of shorter. It's cooler. Yeah. I don't have to, like, do as much to it to get ready for work. I used to have long hair, too. I didn't, I didn't give up my he mullet. He had a mullet. <laughs> I didn't give up my mullet until probably the probably the mid-90s. Oh, wow. When it hit 90, it could have sure went. <laughs> he has curly hair, too, if it gets too long. I changed jobs. I seen, pic I seen pictures. <laughs> Had a mustache and a mullet. Now he's got no hair and a goatee. <laughs> That's gray. Very gray. Think about just dyeing the rest of it gray. No. Oh, you want to see a picture of my mullet? I have a senior picture. These are not worth cooperating. Pretty much, Richard. Pretty much. <laughs> hey, William. You always lurking in the background. <laughs> yeah, I had a I had a mullet way past its way past its time. Of course, I had the big poofy hair. You know. She still had that when we met. Yeah. Tom's wife still has her. I I don't know. I don't. I tried to put. I straightened my hair one time. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh wow. <laughs> See which way we go on here. So I got that out. And I didn't even turn it on. What the heck? I used to always keep my hair really long. But I also used to have bangs. <laughs> That's what I thought when I seen the sign, Precious, was that it resembles Ferdinand a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it does. Other than the hair in his face. I seen that clip art and I'm like, oh, I got some more clip art that's just got like tired this. of it, Debbie. Yeah, I can relate. Mm -hmm. Listen, since I and I've always had a perm. I've had a perm since I was 18, and so uh, I just like it curly. I can throw some mousse in it and. Our, it. Main, our maintenance guy at work does that, Jamie. What? He, let, he, he has to keep his hair in a braided ponytail at work because he's the maintenance guy. Oh. Uh, but he he lets his hair grow, I think, almost down to his waist, and then he cuts it off and donates it. Oh. Uh, well, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Short hair is way easier to deal with, Debbie. Yep. I got a... I went from a mullet to a buzz cut, and I never went back. He shaved his head one time. I don't like it. <laughs> well, it's all right until it gets all itchy. You either have to shave it every other day or it gets real itchy. Too much work. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that I smashed my bow. So I didn't make bundles, but I got some sunflowers out here. Yeah, no doubt. Absolutely. Boy's got a new project he wants to do. I have a lot of new projects. Well, we, we have a lot of new projects and no I time need, to do them. I em. need to get my, my rotary set up for my laser first. 
Yep. My grandmother on my dad's side. What do you mean the unfinished shop? He's talking to Jamie. Oh, okay. My grandmother had hair from the top of her head there you go. down to mid calf. Thank you, Patty. I kid you not. Oh, wow. It was real thin, but I mean, it was down to mid calf. And every morning, she would put it in a ponytail. These are not the same. Go do breakfast. And then up in a bun, it would go until bedtime. I don't know if I like this yellow. I never seen the point let your hair grow that long. Just put it in a bun. Well, if you, was your grandma religious? Not until closer to time to go. Oh, because a lot of people, like my ex mother in law, they always. Um, shipping taxes aren't bad, William. Shipping, on the other hand. So I don't know if I'm going to put. I don't know. I need. I got. I forgot to um, steam them. Just remember when you're shipping wreath, try to fit it in as small of a box as you possibly can that, with, the, without causing damage to the wreath. Yep. Smaller boxes. So what I do is I roll up tissue paper and put it in my loops. It, it doesn't prevent it from getting smashed, but... Um... Depending on where you have to ship to, Jamie, that's going to backfire. Trust me on that. <laughs> I kind of even... I, um, and that will cover most of it to California. So I add a little bit into the price of the wreath. I mean, you have to be able to ship them. Yeah. Whether you... Mark your wreaths up and then list them as free shipping. You know, some people will say mark them way up and add free shipping. Some say split it. You know, you just got to find out what's right for you. Now, Jeanette's wreaths are a problem because she makes big, thick, full wreaths. They take thicker boxes, bigger boxes, and they are really super expensive to ship. Um, I, I don't think, think I like that. Not the last one that we shipped, but the two before that. They were like $40 a piece to ship. Mm, they were. But she makes big, poofy wreaths. That pink and black one went to California. My my Christmas wreaths are probably the biggest wreaths that I make. They're so you can just do shipping profiles on etsy and just you have a wreath one you have a like me we have a wreath one we have a sign one i have a, a ribbon and sign kit one and they're just flat rate if i were to start the etsy thing all over again i think that's what we would probably do is just figure the price into the the cost of the wreath and advertise it as free shipping i mean let's be honest there's there's a ton of people on etsy Selling wreaths for over a hundred dollars anyway. Oh man, I was looking at some were like two hundred and fifty dollars. Well, we found some. We were sitting here right before we went live one night. I found this lady selling grave saddles for four or five hundred dollars. I mean, they're huge. Don't get me wrong. They're like four but feet like, long, but still, four or five hundred dollars for a grave saddle. I don't know. But she 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 had a bunch of sales. So I'm just putting that extra couple extra ribbon tails in here. I don't think I'm gonna add the sunflowers. They're just a, a deeper yellow than I like. I think I have some white sunflowers somewhere. If I don't, I might get some. Um, well, I think they're cream, but we'll just stick with this for tonight. So, Jamie, I'm going to let you pick my next project. (laughs) 
So today is Wednesday. Oh yeah, Debbie. I was I wasn't even thinking about the hand painted heads on the wreath. How thick that would make one. Oh yeah, like um, Jay's. If you ever watch Jay's from a touch of decor, he does some really um, massive designs. So you have to tell me by Saturday, or if you have something in mind now, for next Monday's live. I'm going to switch the camera. What do you forward. mean your shop's going nowhere? Takes time, honey. Oh, yeah, Precious. Their, their stuff is really huge. I could make something like that, but I'd never sell it, probably. There, there are a bunch of people here locally that make wreaths with mesh and ribbon from to get that glare. There it goes. Dollar Tree, Joanne Fabrics, and miscellaneous other inexpensive places. And they sell their wreaths locally for $25, 30 $35. She gonna make me get my full stuff out. <laughs> I was gonna veto anything Halloween, just so you know. <laughs> fall, we could probably do. Yeah, I could do fall. We'll have to make a trip to the storage unit. Though. So, just anything fall with pumpkins. Fall with, oh, what about what you got downstairs? Oh, what I just got in the mail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Patty. I don't know. They have a clientele that'll that'll buy that. So oh, you can sell you can sell. Thank reeds. you, Richard. You can sell multiple reeds every day around here if you're willing to accept twenty five, thirty, thirty five dollars for. Yeah, I mean, yes, I use a Dollar Tree frame, but they use Dollar Tree mesh, ribbon, all yeah. that stuff, signs, and that's what. And that's what the people around, most of the people around here are, you, are willing to spend. And we don't. Fall in June, Christmas in July. I will absolutely do a Christmas in July. I think um, Angela and I's marathon. Um, and be on the lookout for advertising for the All Guys Marathon. I said July, didn't I, Richard? No, it's June. Yours truly will be in there. Yep. I'll post it again. Okay. It's kind of like a mini marathon. It's only going to be from like 2 p.m. to Florida will be the last one. Eight. Thank you, Precious. Blue and yellow are just, I just, I love them now since I did the first one. I like the navy and the yellow, but any kind of blue, really. And then the green. Just really farmhouse country. Oh, yeah, we, we use the Dollar Tree frames, too. Yep. Absolutely. I don't like the elevated ones. It makes them too big for me. Yeah, her stuff's already too big. Or too, too deep, anyway. Listen, I don't have to get ready for Christmas. I got so much left over from last year. <laughs> Pretty soon, I'll be having to start bringing it here to get ready for, um, in <laughs> October, we'll have the Art on the Alley again. Of course, we didn't do too good this year. On the spring one, but yeah. we'll try the fall one. We did pretty good at the other two. Yeah. So I went home and repackaged it for sure. All right, guys. Well, this sign will be in the shop. I just made it tonight, but I'll get it listed if you're interested in that. Um, I have some other farmhouse animal things. Stay close to home, Jamie. Yeah. Crap shows are a lot of work. Yeah, I have some. I have, listen, I haven't, well, I bought a few frames here and there, but I bought two cases um, last year of the Pixie, the 8 inch size, and then the 14 inch size. So, I got to figure out what to do on my starfish. I mean, we just do the two art on the alleys, which is like five, six blocks from our house. And we have to make a couple trips because we don't have the, you know. We don't have a vehicle. A trailer or nothing. Everything. Yeah, buying them yeah. by the case is the way to go. Even at a dollar and a quarter. I mean, really. 
because then I don't have to worry about trying to find them. Though here lately, every time I go into a Dollar Tree, they've got a ton, they've got a ton of, here lately. of uh, frames. Sometimes I'll buy just a few just to make sure, you know, I keep up on it. So, hi, Laura. You're at the end, but this is what we made. Darn light. That's what I was thinking, Mary. Like Wrapping the, it, braiding it, something something with rope. Yeah, like the jute rope or like the, the rope you get from Dollar Tree. Because I don't see how you would do wrap it. Ribbon. Angela did something with deco mesh, but you like the elevated ones. You know, and it's just a personal choice. Reminds you of the pics you just made. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Have a great rest of your week. I'm going to go right downstairs, Richard, and I'm going to send it to you, okay? That's okay, Laura. Thank you. Not in the mood. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. Ooh, I might have to find one like that. All right, guys, have a great rest of your week. Um, I will post... Well, I posted where I'm going to be going live Saturday um, for a Father's Day event. Um, but I will post all the um, days and times that I'm going to be going live. I'll be right here on my page. We'll just be sharing to um, some certain groups. I am raising money for Alzheimer's this month. Um, so if you feel compelled that you can donate, you know, five bucks, anything. Um, Alzheimer's doesn't have a cure. Um, and there's just a lot of things unknown about it. So, but I love you guys. See you later. Have a great weekend. Bye, all.